Hello from Cookbook Divas. This is Carrie, and if you've watched our channel before, you know that I love pasta. If you haven't watched our channel before, hello! I'm going to look through this cookbook with you. This is Back Pocket Pasta by Kalu Henry. It's inspired dinners to cook on the fly. Be sure to check out her YouTube channel. She has great recipes on there. This cookbook came out in 2017. I like cooking on the fly. I don't often plan ahead, so this is this cookbook is right up my alley. But I wonder if she has us making our own pasta ourselves at home, because that takes a lot of work, or if we are cooking dried pasta that we buy at the store, hopefully. The book starts off with an introduction and how it works. And then the first chapter is Mama's, From Teora to the Tenements. And the next chapter is Power Street, Brooklyn, Bright Lights, Fast Dinners. <laughs> Sounds right up my alley. Next chapter is Hudson in the Valley, Farm Visits and Market Meals. Next up, Travels Near and Far, On the Road at Home. Hmm, don't know how that is going to work. Then Salads and Sides, Talia's Guide to Weeknight Drinking. Hello! <laughs> Stocking Up and a Recipe Index. That's handy. Okay, Introduction. The author's family, I'm assuming. A beautiful plate of pasta with, I think, mussels. Oh, here's the section called Here's How It Works. Let me read this. Back Pocket Pasta is less a cookbook and more a loose guide and inspiration for making weeknight dinners artfully and on the fly. My hope is that this book will give you ideas and recipes on how to create your own back pocket pastas with just a few ingredients on hand. Good. No two pantries are the same, so you should feel free to play around with ingredients. If you like extra heat, add more chiles. If you're like Carrie and you can't take the heat, no chiles. If you prefer broccoli rabe to Brussels sprouts, swap them out. Pancetta or prosciutto, you choose. Tofu, in my case. <clears throat> Cooking is already more fun, isn't it? And then she gives us some little rules. Pasta don't preach. She's a laid-back cook, but there's a few things she always does. She salts the water well. She cooks the pasta al dente. My boyfriend cooks pasta till it's mush, so he's not allowed to cook pasta in this house anymore. <clears throat> Three, save the pasta water, because it's star starchy, salty liquid. A secret weapon. Number four, have the sauce ready when the pasta is done. I am so bad about this. I'll be cooking the pasta and forget to turn the stove on under the sauce. <clears throat> then it's cold. Number five, toss the pasta in the sauce. Okay. And let's get sauced. Almost every recipe in the book calls for loosening up the sauce with pasta water. I do that too. Good. Set up your station and let's drink. I'm going to like this book. I'm very thirsty right this minute. Pasta shapes and sizes, a little guide to that. And now the first chapter, Mama's, from Teora to the Tenements. Okay, here we go. First recipe of the book, buttery basil pesto with linguine. Tano and tomato with sweet onion. Definitely is a pantry meal because you can just open a can of tuna, can of tomato. Not sure, oh, I guess you have to have a fresh onion on hand. Mama's marinara. And, ooh, here's some Parmesan cheese. Crab fra diavolo. Tomato and zucchini melt with no picture of it. Pasta with yellowed celery and beans. No picture. Pasta e fagioli. That looks so good. Pasta puttanesca. Now, you probably know what puttanesca, uh, the word origin comes from. If you don't look it up, it's kind of fun. Puttanesca is, excuse me, puttanesca is my personal favorite but I don't make mine with anchovies because I'm a vegetarian. But, oh, I love it with the capers. Here's Nani's tuna clam sauce. Now I can't show you the whole book, so I have to kind of skip ahead here. Sicilian escarole and sausage. Let me skip a couple more. Creamy zucchini and sausage. Keep skipping. Radiatori with potatoes, kale, and bacon. Chestnut pasta with red cabbage and pancetta. That's something I never would have thought of making. Wow. Pasta with pickled peppers. Yum. And now we're in the next chapter. Power Street, Brooklyn. Bright lights, fast dinners. Scallops, sun golds, and a mess of herbs. Easter ham carbonara. I th okay. Pretty parsley spaghetti, but there's no... There's a picture of the kitchen, but none of the dish. Okay. Tuscan kale Caesar pasta. 
proposal pasta with ro roasted chicken and mushrooms. Now I'd like to know why it's called proposal pasta. Does it say? Scout's Honor, this recipe has nothing to do with Ina Garten's original engagement chicken, but Chad did propose after I made this dish. Okay, so she's including her personal history in the beginning of each recipe. I love it. Mediterranean cavatappi. Skip, skip, cacio e pepe. Now I've been buying Trader Joe's cacio e pepe sauce, but I guess I could make it at home myself and not just buy it. Pasta a la Roman. Linguini with quick chili oil and capers. I've made this before, this type of pasta, because I can grab stuff out of the pantry, throw it in there, and it's quick. Penne rigate with gorgonzola, radicchio, and walnuts. Ooh, so many good things here, but I can't show you the whole book. Spaghetti antolina, smoky garganelli, olive vodka. Any excuse to throw vodka in food? I am there. Creamed spinach pasta. That sounds amazing. We're about halfway through the book. Now we're in Hudson and the Valley. And she'll explain to us at the top of the recipes what that means and why she was there, what she was doing. Ramp and hazelnut pesto. I have a friend that hates hazelnuts, so I couldn't make that for her. Tomato quote-unquote salad pasta. BLT pasta. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Orecchietti with fresh corn and burrata. One of my favorite uh, ways to serve pasta in summer. Pesto a la trapanese. Not sure what that is. Sounds good. Summer corn and tomato pasta. And there's our author. Um, oh, a little barn tour, farm tour going on there. Here's stroza preti and broccolini with anchovy and almonds. That's a lot of that is pantry supplies. That would work. Ooh, this is pretty. Farro pasta with quote unquote black tomato sauce. Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, baked ziti with creme fraiche and spinach. Decadent. Nice winter pasta. And brown buttered squash bake. I would try it. I'm not a big fan of squash, but in autumn I might I might go for it. Spelt pasta with sausage greens and walnut gremolata. And caramelized fennel and hazelnut pasta. Hazelnuts again. Are we in the last chapter? No, because we stopped to talk about drinking. Grilled squid with chilies and mint. I like this cookbook. Let me know what you think as I'm looking through it. Is this something that you'd like to have on your shelf? Tagliatelle and olives, arugula and caramelized lemons. I think I need this cookbook because the library wants it back soon. Meze rigatoni with chickpeas and pancetta. Way to add some extra protein to it. And pasta a la Grecia. Does that mean Greek? I don't know what that means. Linguini alla vangole. I hope I said that nicely. Okay, let's get to, oh, look at this beautiful feast with lots of different pastas. Ooh, nice. Citrus and fennel salad with rose water. That is gorgeous. I have to show you a close-up. Good job. Croutonless Caesar. And weeknight drinking. Spritzes, uh, aperitivo, Negroni, Venetian spritz, etc., etc. Now I want a cocktail. Wow! So that was back pocket pasta. I hope you enjoyed the little cookbook tour. You can see more of our cookbook look-throughs and reviews at the cookbookdivas.com website and on YouTube. We post news and info about cookbooks on our Facebook and our Instagram. And for those of you that enjoy podcasts, check out the Cookbook Diva podcast too. If we post some content that you've enjoyed consuming, please drop us a like and a comment because it teaches the social media algorithms to show you more of our posts. <laughs> Bye.